I'm here to talk about naming ranges. I have a very brief example here. For example, we want to name these ranges for the exams here. I just highlight the cells and I go in here. You can't put spaces in here. I'll just call it exam one. So if I'm going doing through a formula, this is great if you have large ranges, you don't want to highlight it. Let's say I want to do the maximum here. I go back on my home tab. I could click over here, go to max and then I could actually click inside here I could find my range in there if I want to or another way of doing this is just see it says exam one here and then I could also type in the form equal min I start typing it in then I can hit the enter key I can't copy this to the right anymore otherwise it'll read exam one exam one going over there the beauty of doing this you can also use these range names in another part of the document here. For example, I don't want people to see the grades here. I could go over here and say, I want to know the highest. I could say equal max exam one. I, of course, I would have a caption there, max grade exam one. Then I could just say max or min, min grade exam one and then I could say equal min grade one exam one sorry so it's giving me the statistics there where you're keeping it confidential other thing too we have to be careful you can delete a range name so if I go over here doesn't matter where you are actually if I go onto the formulas tab I go to the name manager and if I go in here I click on it I choose it I delete it I say OK, close it out. It's not going to convert it back into the um, original range that you had there. You've got to be careful with that, with deleting ranges. You can also edit them. Very, very useful. You could also take a sheet with a range def de defined, such as let's say this range is called students. You could take that sheet with its name and put it in another workbook.